and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code PUDLE at checkout for 20% off your order. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate TV video, guys. And today, we got Legend Saturday. Now, this is a new one. This is the first Legend Saturday in quite a long time. It's going to be a little bit longer than usual, or should I say a little bit more insightful than usual, because we actually have three new players. So if you guys don't already know the, uh, the routine of what I do is Friday, Mutt 10 Legend Drops, that was its own video. Saturday, two set Legend Drops. Now, since Mutt 10, the Mutt 10 promo, the 10 week promo finished, we now have a new slot for Limited Time Legends. So we are back to the old year long, every year, you know, routine of getting two Legends for the sets and one Limited Time Legend. So that's pretty cool. A little something new makes Legend Saturdays a little bit more exciting. Back to the regular set Legends now. They did repeat some Legends in this week's drop, which is kind of annoying for the first Limited Time Legend drop. But at least we can start expecting some new Legends. But it appears like EA kind of used all the Legends we wanted on the Mutt 10 promo. So I really don't know what else they're going to drop on a weekly basis from the Legend sets. That's going to make us like, wow. But these were these have good stats. But I'm just not a fan of the cards. But they're good stats. Now, how do you guys want me to run this from now? You want me to do, I think I'm going to do the two set Legends first and Limited Time Legend over on Twitter. So I'm going to start running this um, weekly every Saturday. By the way, guys, make sure to be checking out the market, obviously. At about 10:30, which is like an hour from now, the legend market will start coming down, especially with the new series, all the new power passes, new legends, new packs. Good chance the market crashed a little bit, so I definitely stay on top of that if I were you guys. But let's get into all this. But before we do, make sure you go down below, hit that subscribe button, turn that notification bell, boys. Come join the family. We're a little over 11k, boys. You guys have been killing it. The support has been unreal. Thank you guys so much for all that. And if you haven't already, give this video a big thumbs up. Make sure to drop a video, drop a video, drop a like down below if you guys. I've been enjoying the if you guys have been enjoying the content and also all the loyal fans, all the supporters, all the OGs, always smash that like button. It means a lot. And comment down below what you think of these legends. So there's three of them. Comment down below what you think. You are you, are you a fan of the limit time legend system or you would you miss Mutt 10? I personally wish we would get something like Mutt 10 again, but it is what it is. Let's head over to Twitter to go check out all their stats. Alright, so first legend is Clinton Portis. That's what I was saying when I said we got a repeat because we did have a theme diamond Clinton Portis. His stats are pretty, pretty nice, so I'm not gonna lie. Better obviously better than the theme diamond. It does suck though. I wonder if their power up change are linked. I'd imagine they are, but you never know with EA, which is gonna be this is what I was talking about earlier in the year would be annoying because theme diamonds are going to be obviously more expensive because they're more rare, less easy to get than a typical card less market fluctuation with them so i don't really know how his power change is looking right now but if you wanted him stats aren't bad he's five foot eleven he gets a, he gets the evasive chemistry is what i'm getting from his archetype 48 salary cap 90 speed 91 excel 90 agility 87 carrying 67 catching 89 elusiveness 80 trucking 80 break tackle now if you look at his stats right the speed's cool the speed's definitely good the excel is good the agility is good so is that from an athleticism standpoint, he's right there with every other running back in the game. So you really, you can't discount him at all. He's definitely one of the top running backs in this game at this moment, because although I don't think he's the top, I think Saquon still has that throne, but the speed and excel and agility alone will put him in games no matter what, where the people play him. He will always be a useful card for the time being. 87 carries up there, 67 catching is a little bit low, 89 elusiveness, 80 trucking, 88 break tackle. Now, in my opinion, the 80 trucking's a little low, but I don't really truck, so it doesn't really bother me. Now, the break tackle is what I care about, because Saquon powered up for me, chemmed up, and everything has like a 94 break tackle, and he quite literally gets the glitchiest animations. So, I feel like I'd rather be on the side of the higher above 90 break tackle, but card's still, this card's still great. Let's head on over to the next card real quick to go show you guys the next legend. Next, we got Ed Two Tall Jones, left end for the Dallas Cowboys. I actually really like this one. He's six foot nine. Kind of looks like an enraged card, quite honestly. Now, I do want him, but I do have Cameron Jordan for free, which is kind of conflicting me. He's got the shutdown looking archetype. Don't know what that means. But he has a 76 speed. Decent. 82 acceleration. That's decent athleticism. That's like base. Like, that's base for an end. Not bad. Not great. 91 strength. Great. 90 tackle. Great. 88 play rec is fine because I always know I can power him up, chem him up, and I'll get it right there to a 90. 92 block shedding is awesome, 90 power move is awesome, and 84 finesse move is fine because he has a 90 power move. As long as I have either the finesse or the power, I'm typically fine with either or. So this card's actually really, really good. Decent athleticism, all threshold. Like, pretty much when you power him up, he's going to have all threshold that you need. He's going to be a top-tier run stuffer, a top-tier tackler, a top-tier pass rusher. Great at, great at playing the, the run, the pass. I, I really do like this card. I think this is an awesome card. Now... What I recommend upgrading more over my Cam Jordan, it all depends, right? I'm gonna go look on the Madden screen real quick, uh, on my side, obviously. If I look at Cam Jordan, which is what I have, which Cam Jordan kind of replicates a lot of the top tier left ends right now. If you look at his stats, 
Ed Tutal Jones is more athletic, a better tackler, less play rec, better strength, better block shed. Yeah, honestly, Ed Tutal Jones is one of the best left ends in the game right now. I might have to scoop him up, actually. I don't know. I don't really want to get rid of Cam Jordan, but I might have to. Now let's go check out the limited time legend for this Saturday legend drop, which is Donald Driver from the Green Bay Packers. Now, if you guys don't remember, he also had a theme diamond. Ed Tutel Jones was the only new one there, I believe, but the other guys both had theme diamond cards. Now, he has, I believe that's like slot technician or whatever. That's his archetype. Slot master, I don't really know. So, he's going to have really good uh, route running, obviously, just by seeing that archetype, I could tell. He's six feet tall. That's average height for a wide receiver. Not too tall, not too small. Somewhere right in between. So that's kind of a sweet spot, six feet tall. But I prefer you're either, you know, really small and fast or you're really tall and great hands. He's like in the, he's in the middle. He has 90 speed, which is great. 85 jumping, which is great. 90 catching, which is amazing. 89 catching traffic, which is really good. 90 spec catch, 89 short route running, 90 medium route running, and 91 deep route running. So, what does this card look like to you? It reminds me of two things. It reminds me of Tory Holt with better catching and slightly less speed, or it reminds me of a Juju Smith Schuster gauntlet card with route running. Literally, this is whatever this is what the Juju card kind of looked like. Would I recommend this card? He is the jack of all trades. He's not the fastest. He's not the best route runner. He's not the best catcher, but he can do everything great. Like he, he's great at everything, but not special at anything. You know what I'm saying? Like, he won't take a, he won't do a straight line. He doesn't have the straight line speed where he's going to completely just kill the field on every route. He can like like because like Saquon's only slightly faster than him. I believe Saquon let's see, has a 90. Saquon has a 90 speed also, but Saquon again can't take it to the house every time either. Like, people are too fast now. But again, he's not game breaking speed. Tory holds pretty fast. But I'll take the route running. I'll take the catching. Especially chemed up and powered up. This card's going to be pretty amazing. I think chemed up and powered up. He's going to have top tier. He's gonna have all above 90 route running, all above 90 catching, and have like a 91 speed. And with shake and everything 92, this card could be the best wide receiver in the game if properly chemed up and utilized on your team. But that pretty much wraps up the three legend drops. Go ahead and over to the Madden screen real quick to finish out this video. Guys, back in the Madden screen, like I was showing you, uh, compared to top tier wide receivers, I don't really have many, so it's kind of hard to show you. But if you look at Tory Holt, they have similar. He's better catching than Tory Holt. Sim typically, actually, better. I'll go with the same route running because he has less deep route running, but he also has better short than Donald Driver. So and it kind of averages out. Catching and route running, Donald Driver beats Torrey Holt on. Speed, he's less by one. And jumping, he's less by two. But again, this Torrey Holt is 92. That's the 90 Donald Driver. That Donald Driver te technically does blow away Torrey Holt. Now, remember, guys, at 1030, Legend Packs will drop. I don't know if you guys want to, but it is the first day of increased pack odds and Legend Packs. So if you guys want to take a chance on that, that does, I guess, make sense for you pack spender guys. But when they do drop, always I, I like to do this reminder every week. So everyone always knows their options. There's going to be a 10, I mean an 8 bundle of Legend Fantasy Packs with an 86 plus topper. The topper might have increased because we have increased the series, I don't know. But there's also going to be an option for 5 bundles. There's a, the 5 pack bundle. So the 5 pack bundle is going to cost you the same as half the other bundle. If you guys get what I'm saying. So in essence, the 8 pack bundle costs the same as 2 5 pack bundles. So you can either get 2 5 pack bundles which will give you 10 packs for the price of 8 packs. So pretty much if you want two extra packs go the five route and get two of those although the only issue with doing that is that you're not going to topper so it's would you rather save like three bucks and get a two extra legend fantasy packs would you rather get a topper and spend two or three extra dollars it all depends on the nature of how you like to play madden and how much of a game you like to take essentially the legend plus could give you the limited time legend so if that's the route you want to go or would you rather have the extra packs for a chance at the redux i don't know i can give you that advice i don't want to be the reason i'll pull things but remember probably do the opposite of what i'm saying because i haven't pulled a limited time since ever i've never pulled limited time playing man since i'm playing in man 13 so don't take my advice when it comes to packs probably but guys that is about it for the video thank you guys so much for watching if you're new to the channel go down below hit that subscribe button boys turn on that noti bell come join the family it's been crazy so far this year i appreciate every each and every one of you quite honestly thank you to all those with the noti bell on that come each and every day say what's up watch the video it's it's that, 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 that's what keeps the drive going boys that's about it thank you guys so much for watching Make sure to smash that like button. All the OG, all the supporters, always hit that like button. Helps the channel out tremendously. And comment down below what you think of these legends. I personally think Ed Total Jones is the best one because he's not limited time. Donald Driver's right there, but he's limited time. And um, I personally don't like Clinton Portis, but you guys might. But that's about it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm out. See you guys next video. Peace.